Hey CamFam, it's Monica from My Big Camera. In this video, I will be showing you a super easy and cheap but gorgeous prop that you can make to use for your newborn and sitter sessions. We will be making a super soft and cozy prop filler that you can snuggle newborns into, but you could definitely use this as a bowl filler for older babies too. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because I will also be showing you a behind the scenes clip of a photo shoot we did and some final images too. If you're new to our channel, we teach aspiring photographers how to improve their skills, specifically when it comes to newborn and portrait photography. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking that red subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell too so that you get a notification every time we release a new video. Okay, so let's get into the video. Here is the gorgeous prop filler fluff that I made in a beautiful dusty rose pink color. All you will need for this is some fabric scissors and some thick and bulky yarn. I will be using this Lion Brand homespun thick and quick yarn in the color Coral Stripes. I got this for about $5 at Michael's. Here's a little sample of what one strand of yarn will end up looking like. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I do is just to take off the sleeve to make things easier. Then, cut strands approximately 12 inches long. It doesn't need to be exact and the strands can vary in length, but I don't recommend cutting strands much longer than 16 inches because they will be more prone to tangling in the next step. Next, you need to pull out the strings in the yarn. There are two sets of strings that you need to pull out of each strand. Simply hold on to the end of the yarn and pull the string out. It should come out pretty easily. Next, fluff and separate the fibers of the yarn. Try to really separate all of the fibers for best results. You can leave some curlier bits in if you'd like, but I prefer the more fluffy look. Now you just need to cut a whole bunch more strands. There really is no exact number of strands that you need to cut, so just cut as many as you think that you will need. If you find that it ends up not being enough, you can always cut more. I only use about half of the yarn for this. Now repeat the process for the rest of your strands. I will show you just a few and then cut it to the finished product. That way you don't have to sit there watching me pull out all of the strands. I will say that it took me about 45 minutes to do this. You can easily just turn on a TV show and just binge watch something while doing this. That's usually what I do. And here's the finished fluff. I did end up cutting a few more purple strands just to give my fluff a bit more variation, but it's really up to you what you want to do. Here's what the fluff would look like inside a white bowl prop. The fluff is absolutely perfect for overhead poses and is the perfect inexpensive prop to change up the look of your photos on a budget. There's so many different colors of yarn that you can use to really customize the setup. It's so soft for the baby and really easy to use. It's also really, really easy to fluff around the baby to cover any posing beans or anything that you might have propping up the baby. Okay, now for the photo shoot. We're using my daughter here inside a bowl. I've layered a few textured layers with the fluff, but you can use the fluff on its own too. And as a bonus, here are a few tips for photographing toddlers. Our daughter is 20 months old here. At 20 months old, they may understand when you ask them to do things like smile, laugh, or say cheese. They can sometimes follow direction and may go sit in the prop if you ask them to, so try to use those. The fake smile can be so adorable at this age, and if you can get them to laugh when you ask them to, it will look very genuine and natural. 
If they don't understand those words or seem nervous, you can rely on the parents to help to get them to smile and laugh. Usually peekaboo works well, singing nursery rhymes. We also love to utilize puppets as kids love puppets. Fake sneezes work too and sometimes if you laugh, they may laugh too. You can also try getting them to clap and cheer as many toddlers will happily oblige. Here are a few final images from the session. If you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you joined our CAM fam by subscribing to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell too so that you're notified of all of our upcoming videos. If you're interested in more DIY prop tutorials, I will link our playlist up in the cards. And if you'd like to download our free Photoshop action pack that we use every day for our portrait sessions, I will leave a link for where you can download that in the description. We also created a Facebook group for newborn photographers where we can all share and inspire each other. We would love it if you would join us there. I will leave the link for that down below too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. And remember, keep creating.